Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelosi and this is another tutorial from cgcookie.com. Uh, on this video we will be uh, covering some rendering uh, stuffs and uh, we start to talk about how to render and how to illuminate uh, glasses. So we'll work on uh, a very simple uh, illumination set, lighting set and uh, we'll try to create uh, in a very fast way some photorealistic uh, glass shader and uh, we'll use <coughs> sorry we'll use different rendering engines so we'll work on mental ray and uh, v-ray maybe also final render and brazil rs uh, so we'll start with uh, mental ray and for the first part of this tutorial uh, we work on 3ds max 2010 and uh, i think that uh, we'll split uh, this tutorial in a different part so we can have the right time for every single uh, rendering engine so uh, let's start to remove uh, the grid and uh, i use the g key to remove the grid and now I check the unit setup, so I go in the customize menu, unit setup and I check that I have display unit uh, set to metric and centimeters okay, we have to use the right scale to, to make the right illumination and the light shading uh, uh, configuration let's start uh, creating a, a very simple uh, uh, set so for the moment we can use maybe a box and I create a box maybe 80 centimeters for 100 centimeters and eight, uh, 80 centimeters okay this is our uh, base set and I uh, set okay I use the uh, right mouse click and I convert uh, the mesh to editable poly okay now I select all the edges and I go in the chamfer settings and I set the amount of the chamfer and you can make the same thing using uh, uh, the chamfer box and ok and I can set to all to ok, okay. Uh, this is our set now I go in the editable poly, I select this uh, this face and I remove it now I select uh, the mesh and I can name it set and uh, I select the shell modifier so we have uh, a three-dimensional set okay that's right okay I save the the sheen and I save it in the right directory okay glasses underscore um, air and this is for that's for a mental ray okay uh, let's start to create the right illumination so so I create a mental ray area omni and I can create it like that uh, I can put it there and I move it to the top of the box and let's change uh, the, the parameters uh, and we go in the area light and it's okay to have an area light and we set the scale and let's try with 15 centimeters and let's uh, put a very simple mesh for the moment and I use a teapot and I move it at the center of the of the set and now I move the set okay I can create 
from this viewport uh, a camera uh, so I go in the view and I click on create camera from view or you can use uh, the shortcut control uh, plus C key okay now I have uh, the camera and I change a little the camera stops and I select the set and I select the smooth modifiers and I set auto smooth so you can see that now we have the right smooth all over the mesh I save again uh, the sheen now I select the teapot and let's use maybe 20 segments to have uh, the right curvature uh, for the for the shape and now we are ready uh, to start to see if, uh, if the, the, the lighting setup can be okay to start so uh, let's try to make the first test render so we have to go in the uh, rendering setup uh, we move it uh, on the assign render and we choose mental ray okay and for the moment we can use the default value and we go to create our first test render and now we see how it looks okay let's start to create uh, some shaders so I select the set and I create a uh, set shader okay and I assign the, the set the, the material to the set model and we can change it uh, so uh, let's try to use maybe an architectural design from mental ray and we can select maybe uh, something like uh, a plastic so I use glossy plastic and we change the color uh, to something similar to white and we can make uh, a very fast text render with a lower uh, resolution and we see how it looks okay uh, let's change uh, something inside uh, the shader and we try to have uh, uh, the glossy reflection so I set uh, glossy samples to uh, 8 uh, to start and let's try again to render okay so uh, now you can see that we have uh, a glossy reflection over the surface and uh, uh, it is not bad uh, uh, as a start but uh, I'd like to change a little the sheen so I select the, the set and I select uh, an X4 modifier and we can go to the full view I select the gizmo and we can scale uh, the gizmo so we can change the set and we have no problem uh, to go back because uh, we can change the scale again uh, simply uh, removing the uh, the X4 modifier and it's very simple you can see that if I set to off the X4 we have the the original mesh um, okay uh, now uh, I'd like to change a little the illumination so I remove this one and I go back in the lighting and uh, I select a, a mental ray area spot and oh, sorry and I create this one okay and I select the light I move it and I select again the light I go in the uh, um, area light it's okay for rectangle and let's see if the scale uh, the first thing I, I, I'd like to, to change is the target so we can rotate it with no problem okay 
let's change the scale of the light panel uh, let's try to start with this so something around 50 uh, centimeters for the height value and 80 centimeters for the the width okay uh, we have the light color set to white and it's okay uh, let's save again the shin and now we try to make another uh, test render so uh, I render again a test and you can see uh, this kind of illumination and let's set uh, one bounces uh, for the illumination in the indirect uh, illumination panel and let's create a, a light to the other side of the uh, the set and I can create a copy okay and I move it there and ah, let's see again how it works and uh, it's better now we have to change uh, let's go in lights so I can select only the lights and uh, now we can change uh, the attenuation uh, sorry the the, the offspot parameters so I make it bigger for the shadows and I set one for the overshoot so I can illuminate the entire set same stuffs for the other lights or a shoot and let's see okay you can see that uh, it is too bright so let's start set to off the, the secondary light and let's see how it works with a single light it's okay but uh, it is too powerful so we can change the multiplier okay and we can select the other lights we can set to on and I make it very low and let's see if it works maybe uh, less power yes a little less power and let's change the color to a more uh, cold color something like that and let's see okay so we have uh, a cold illumination coming from there okay let's save again uh, the the sheen and let's start working uh, on the on the glass so let's select the teapot and maybe we can make uh, more teapot so I can select this one and this one and I can make it is more little and I can create another there and I can make it bigger okay so we can see also the refraction uh, inside the sheen I can go again uh, to the full screen and I can create to the plus and uh, then we can move sorry in camera and we can select uh, show save frames so we can see uh, the right uh, amount of the sheen that we can see in the rendering uh, okay let's save again to be sure that we have no no lose uh, if we have some crashes and let's uh, let's make a test render for this set okay let's make another test render and let's see if the set is complete okay okay we can work on the for the moment on the the glasses so we can select the teapot uh, we can go there and we have a uh, different way to create uh, these effects 
So uh, in Mentor Ray, we can uh, choose to create, uh, uh, for example, uh, a glass using a standard shader. Uh, so maybe the retraced shader uh, from 3ds Max, or maybe we can use the Pro Materials, and you can see that we have the Pro Materials, so the glass, or we can use the Arc and Design glasses uh, template. So let's start uh, with the first, uh, with the first one, and let's use Pro Material. Uh, solid glass. Uh, let's assign this one to the various tippet. Okay, and let's call it glass uh, pro material. Okay, let's save the sheen and uh, let's use for the moment uh, the default value uh, for all the uh, the parameters and. Let's make a test and uh, let's see uh, how it works. You can see that we have a lot of black because we are uh, re the reflection coming from outside the, the box and uh, it's very, very uh, art to to have less black we can use uh, for example uh, a different uh, environment color but we can for example also create uh, another lights okay I can move it there and I can change the color maybe you can make something like that coming from outside and I can change the okay the proportion to make it bigger and let's see uh, maybe just a piece of the sheen to check if it's better or not let's uh we have a better illumination and let's see if we set show icon in render if we see a better reflection over the the glass okay nothing uh so so good so let's say with uh, this illumination and let's use the actual uh, glass uh, uh, configuration okay let's save the sheen and let's go inside uh, the glasses uh, shader okay let's see if we have something that we can do uh, over the the shader and you can see that we have the color transmittance and we have uh, clear but we can also change uh, the color of the glass and you can see that we we can use a custom color so we can choose there uh, the color or use the uh, a bitmap uh, to select a color uh, maybe for some uh, very artistic glasses like in a church and um, we can use for example uh, the blue and we can see how the, the rendering will change so I make a copy a clone of the rendering I render again and you can see that the glass is coming blue a dark blue and uh, that's very useful to create different kind of glasses for example for uh, artists glasses or maybe for uh, bottle or or something like that and let's go again in the clear okay and let's see how works uh, let's wait a little for the glass okay 
uh, with the clear setting it's faster uh, it's slower to render because we see a lot of detail inside the glass and uh, outside the glass so we have the uh, a very high value uh, for the uh, reflection so uh, let's do something to make uh, a more realistic render and we select the teapot and we go in uh, to use the shell and I set 0 for the outer and maybe uh, 0 0.2 for the uh, inner and we, s uh, we make the same thing uh, for the other glasses and we can leave the default setting because the default settings now are the last settings we used and I save again the sheen okay now the render will be uh, different uh, a little bit different okay let's uh, do another test render and now uh, we have the teapot uh, done by glasses uh, uh, with the thickness so the render will be different because uh, in, the f uh, in the previous render uh, we had uh, something like a solid uh, glass teapot and uh, now we have a different set because we have something like uh, more similar to a glass or uh, maybe um, uh, a bottle something like that and you can see that uh, it's more realistic and uh, it's also slower to render okay let's see uh, uh, you can see that we have the index or fraction and you can change it to make uh, different glasses but this is uh, for sure physically uh, based so you can use this one and we have the reflectance and you can uh, set more reflectance to have uh, a more uh, reflection over the glasses and it can be useful to have to see more reflection or less uh, reflection and we have the, the, the reference thickness that is uh, the, 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 the thickness of the, the surface and we can use uh, a lower value when we have uh, for example a, a solid glasses like before but we can set the right uh, amount and we know that we have 0.2 um, let's see how it works and you can see that we have again uh, the right uh, colors uh, for the glass because we have the right uh, thickness of the uh, of the the surface okay let's wait uh, for the rendering so now we have the right amount of uh, usage of the the physical color, uh, coloring of the rays, rays uh, coming inside the glass surface okay let's see uh, what we have coming down and we have the surface imperfection and this is very useful because we can create uh, ripples, uh, wavy, uh, or maybe we can use custom maps to create uh, to create imperfection over the surface, and that's very useful to create uh, uh, the natural distortion of the glass, like uh, in the window, or maybe like uh, on a on a building. Uh, it can be very too useful. Not so useful for very little mesh like this one, but very useful for uh, big glasses. Uh, big window or maybe uh, uh, all the glasses building inside uh, a city, uh, a normal city. Okay, that's how we can use uh, the pro glass material in a very fast way and uh, you can uh, know that in the performance tuning parameters you have all the parameters uh, to make it faster. So for example we can change the reflection gloss samples and the refraction gloss samples to make it faster. Uh, we can have a, a faster result but it will be uh, with the less precise realistic value so I can use for example 0 and 0 and we can render again 
and let's see how it will be and you can see that in the whole rendering we have a glossy reflection and it can be more realistic but it can be a little more faster to use uh, less uh, um, a lower value for the glossy uh, calculation if it's the rendering is very little so we cannot see uh, actually uh, the real difference between this one and this one it will be better with bigger uh, bigger rendering okay uh, that's all for the pro material and we can move on and go uh, to the arc and design shader okay uh, let's work now on the other shader and uh, we go in the material editor and I create a new arc and design shader I call it a uh, class arc so we can understand that uh, it's an arc and design shader and I select a template and we select glass physical so it is uh, physically uh, based and I select the teapot okay and uh, I assign the material and let's try uh, to render a test and the first thing you can see is that maybe uh, uh, this shader is a little more faster than the, the pro material and you can see it uh, uh, in real time during my rendering and I can say that maybe this is uh, more accurate uh, than the the other one and uh, it can be uh, used in every in every kind of situation and for every kind of uh, sheen so I prefer to use this one instead of the the pro material and uh, we have all the uh, uh, the the parameters set by the the template but we can work a little for example on the reflection and on the transparency and for the moment for the reflection we have no glossiness so if you want to have uh, the glossiness uh, as in the pro material you have to select maybe a lower value uh, maybe this one 0 0.5 okay and we have again the glossy samples and we can use 8 that is the same value we had on the pro material uh, let's try again to make a test render and uh, maybe now it can be uh, a little more slower than before and that's normal because we are using the uh, the glossiness during the reflection calculation and okay now we have uh, the gloss reflection over the surface but you can see that uh, actually it is faster than the pro material um, let's remove the glossiness and let's check uh, the other kind of parameters we have and uh, you can find something inside uh, the advanced reflection uh, rendering option and we have the refraction and we can understand and set how much uh, will be the distance for the uh, refracted mesh and actually it is set to uh, 30 centimeters and uh, uh, after the ter this distance we have no refraction so you can speed up the rendering using the, the distance so for example uh, we can set that uh, it can refract the mesh uh, that are near and not the distance mesh and if I change the max distance it will be uh, 
slower and I have no control over the color at max distance. Uh, with this color I can decide uh, uh, the coloring of the glass. Uh, for example, I can set it to red. And let's see an example. You can see that the glass now it's a little bit uh, red and we can change the distance to have uh, the same result we have before you can see the red value over the the glass and now we can see how uh, will be if I change for example the distance now I set the max distance to 5 and you can see that there is a little bit more red over the, the glass but we can work also on the transparency of the glass and we can do uh, the stuffs using the refraction uh, panel and you can ch uh, change the, the transparency and we can use maybe for example 0.7 okay and let's see how it works you see that we have uh, a less transparent uh, glass with the red effects. In any way, the uh, the pro material uh, seems more simple to be used to find uh, uh, a faster, uh, a very fast, uh, in a very fast way, uh, the final result. But with the art design, you have more control over a lot of parameters that you have now in the uh, in the pro material. Uh, now we can see that maybe I can prepare uh, a glass shader using the standard material inside 3ds Max, so it's uh, not so complex to do it. So for the moment, I can save the sheen. Okay, and we can prepare again a new shader. Okay, so let's select this slot and I name it glass standard because we use a standard shader and we can use uh, a standard or we can use also the retrace. Uh, let's try using the retrace material and I give it, I assign it to the teapot and I select Blin and I use more power on the specularity and let's see for the moment what we have inside the viewport and that's the actual result and let's go in the uh, transparency and let's set transparency to 100% and let's see how it works and you can see that it's not so bad but you can be sure that uh, this shader is not so precise like as the the physical based for materials or arc and design. So let's use 1.5 for the IOR and let's use uh, a reflection and we use the fractional reflection over it. And let's see if it is better. Let's see.
Okay, we have reflection, but not so much. So I'd like uh, to remove the reflection and let's try to have no transparency. And let's try to have 50% for the reflection. Okay. So uh, let's try again to have a transparency. Let's try with the, uh, 75 because in this way we have the metal. And now we change also the, the color using the, the diffuse color. Maybe it is uh, a little slower than the Arkham sign. Maybe very similar to the uh, pro material. Okay, so it's better to go again to the professional and let's see with 75 for the transparency and then we move uh, inside other uh, uh, parameters that can control the, uh, the coloring of the glass. Let's see if it's nice or not. Okay, we need uh, more transparency. Uh, let's move around uh, 92. And uh, let's move in the extended uh, parameters. And uh, we can add the, the fog coloring. And uh, we can use, for example, uh, a green. And let's see how it will be. And we have a very little uh, green coloring. You can see it's also on the uh, final gather calculation. It's very, very, very low, actually. But uh, we can stop it. Let's try to use maybe 10 and let's use it for 15. Okay, now we can see it's m over the, the glass a more green value. And we can use uh, uh, the color we want and it will be uh, the same as we saw in uh, uh, the pro material and in the arc design. So uh, maybe uh, using the retrace or a standard shader, uh, it can be useful for you to, uh, to choose to have uh, some kind of complex shader for the, uh, for the glass. But it's real to say uh, that uh, in this case you can use the Arcan Design and you can be sure that you have the physically based uh, glass in your sheen. So, uh, uh, to finalize this part of the tutorial, I can say uh, we have three methods. We have the pro material glass, we have the arc and design glass from Mental Ray, and we have uh, the standard material and the retrace shader from coming from 3ds Max. Uh, the 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 most simple approach uh, is to use an old uh, uh, standard for the shader, so using the standard materials or the or the retrace. But if you need a more precise look and you need a physically based glass in your shear, the best way is to use all the pro materials or the, the glass 
coming from the arc and the sign and the mage ooze uh, can be uh, the arc and the sign shader because you have a lot of option and you can make uh, everything you need but if you need a very fast uh, uh, approach to create a physically based shader you can go with the pro materials so uh, let's try uh, just to see a final rendering done with the uh, glass pro material so I set again the material as the, the pro material and we remove the render region we save the sheen and I set maybe uh, the final gathering to medium and we can use one diffuse bounces I can go in the renderer and we set 16 and 1 for the sampling of the anti-alias and we can use uh, Mitchell as anti-aliasing system and uh, we are ready to render the sheen and we can go with another value for the resolution I save for the last time and we are ready to render it okay let's press the rendering button and let's see the final result and uh, in the next part of this tutorial, next month, we'll work on uh, other rendering systems like Final Render and V-Ray and we'll see how to create the same kind of stuff using this uh, uh, rendering engine. We'll try to replicate the same illumination system uh, with the other rendering engine. Uh, uh, so uh, you can see the difference and you can see uh, how will be different the pipeline to achieve the same result. Uh, this tutorial will be uh, the first of a very large series of shading uh, related uh, tutorials and this is very simple because we are talking about some kind of shaders that are inside the software but in in the in the in the coming uh, months uh, we start working on more complex shader and more complex illumination system We are near to achieve the, the final final gather uh, solution. So we have to wait not so much to achieve the final result.
we have to wait a little because I used the the medium uh, quality value and it's precise but it is slower Okay, we are finishing to create the final gather maps. And we have only this part to be finished. Finally it is coming. And you have to imagine that it is so slow because we are using the arc and the sign also for the environment and we are using the glossy reflection over the environment. So we have glossy reflection over the environment and we have glossy reflection and refraction over the glasses. So it is a very complex situation. Maybe I can stop the recording so you can see finally just the, the final result. So uh, that's the final result and you can see that it's uh, very good. And uh, I can say that for the moment it's everything for this part of the, of the tutorial. And uh, I hope to meet you again on the next week uh, tutorial coming from cgcookie.com.